For as one thinks within his heart, so is he. Hello, welcome to the video. Welcome to the free series on your healthy mind, body and spirit. We're now on day three of having the right mindset. It's been a great couple of days here. We've been going through some of the scripture, some of the gospel here. God's holy word uh, teaching us all about the things that uh, some of modern science has even been teaching us about recently as well and affirming and, and confirming some of these teachings that they knew about uh, thousands of years ago. Now, this is the manuscript for living, how to live a happy, healthy mind, body and spirit. Over the last couple of days we've talked about um, things like auto-suggestion, uh, how that works in the Bible. We've talked about how your mind gravitates towards its most dominant thoughts. Um, and you become what you think about uh, and those sort of things as well but today is day number three so we've got some more powerful words here from the gospel it is amazing and it's great stuff uh, these guys had it all sussed out thousands of years ago but let's have a look at today's word of the day which is having the right mindset and it says here for as he thinks in his heart so he is so that's from proverbs 23 7. every family struggles with generational issues these are things our parents and grandparents have passed down to us often we say it runs in the family i can't do anything about it yes you can you may not be able to do anything about your family's um, past but by god's grace you can change the future for yourself and for your children the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Note the words in Christ. You can't change your family's dysfunction by yourself, but in Christ, you receive the power needed to go in a new direction. If your computer can be reprogrammed, your mind can be too. So be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12 2 you say how do I renew my mind by saturating it in the scriptures just like soaking your body removes dirt soaking your mind in the scriptures cleanses and corrects your thinking the old saying goes watch your thoughts for they become your words watch your words for they become your deeds watch your deeds because they become your habits and watch your habits because they become your character and watch your character because it comes becomes your destiny god told gideon tear down the altar of baal that your father has in its place gideon built a new altar for the lord and his life and that of his family would change forever you can do the same by programming your mind with god's word That's what it's all about. This is about creating the happy, healthy mind, body, and spirit. These little tips and techniques and tricks that have been set out thousands of years ago, all the teachings of the Bible. It is amazing, great stuff. It should be embraced. It should be passed on and spread around. It's all about living in abundance, happiness, prosperity, wealth, um, living with a grateful attitude, forgiving others and forgiving yourself as well to be able to create that new life. Like I said in the scriptures today, it's like tearing down an old altar and then rebuilding a new one uh, using Christ as your base, Christ as your saviour, the one to be able to turn to, uh, to have prayer with, to be able to talk to in your time of needs. Uh, as things progress in the world, people tend to turn back to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has always been known as your helper, your rescuer, where it always comes to your aid in times of need. That is why it's so great. Churches are coming together, they understand all this. The, uh, there is a new wave of um, revelation going through the world at the moment. There is also a new um, revival happening at the moment as well, which is exciting, great stuff. I'm excited that it's gonna be happening. More and more people are gonna be turning back to the morals, the laws, the principles, and the teachings of the Bible to help create a happy, healthy mind, body, and spirit. So here's a couple of slides for you today. Thank you for watching and bless you.